Hoi there small fry and welcome to Itch.io Tasty, the video series where we take a random word, put it into itch.io and see what kind of games we come up with. Now a few episodes ago we did Mario and got some effervescent delights, so this time uh, there's nothing really going on that I can capitalise on with keywords, so I decided to go back to the well and do Sonic. And to be honest the results were not as horrific as one might imagine. Uh, so actually, we got out of it pretty okay. But anyway, uh, I took a few of these selections and not many results came up actually. There was a lot more for Mario. But we got some interesting stuff, so let's just get on with it, shall we? Yes, that sounds like a good idea. We kick things off with Tosh the Haggis. Now, I'm sure you can tell just from looking at it that it's not the most polished of experiences. Uh, it clearly wants to evoke the, the same kind of style as Sonic the Hedgehog, that much is true, it's wearing its inspiration on its sleeve. I mean, there's no coincidence, of course, that it came up just by searching with the word Sonic, uh, except you play a haggis called Tosh, of course. Um, the main issue with this is the input lag, which is, uh, not to put too fine a point on it, bloody atrocious. It is very hard to get the character to jump uh, with any sense of, of, of accuracy because the moment you press space to get him to jump, it'll take a, a few seconds uh, for the character to actually do anything. Uh, I cleared the first level in under a minute and can't seem to access the second level. Now, I'm not sure if that's because I have to collect uh, four collectible items in the level to progress, uh, which, to be honest, if that's the case, I just don't want to do it. Uh, I played through the level twice and could not access level two, and I don't want to play it uh, again. Uh, to be honest, it's it's honestly, and, and I'm trying to be as kind as possible, it's not a pleasant experience to play, uh, again, due to that input lag, and the visual lag as well, I mean, the whole thing's just kind of visually very sludgy, so unfortunately, Tosh the Haggis does not get the seal of approval this week, and does in fact only get one Chaos Emerald out of eight. Next up is Quad Maze, a puzzle platformer that is designed for people who think that Sonic and Mario are too easy. So I put this one through its paces. It's all right, 10 rings out of 10. Interestingly, the pick of the litter this week is not an original game at all. It's just a kind of takeoff of an existing Sonic game, really. Uh, Sonic Time Twisted is inspired heavily, and, and by inspired heavily, I mean it basically is Sonic CD. Uh, it does have a little bit of controller lagginess to it that I felt, not as bad as the Haggis one, and not terrible by any means, but just enough to throw me off a little bit here and there. Uh, visually it looks pretty decent, uh, and the soundtrack is really good, so musically, or sonically, if you were, ah ha ha ha, it's actually fairly legit. So I do like Sonic Time Twisted, uh, they've only got kind of a few levels up at the moment, I guess it's still in progress, so if you get it on Itch.io, you can download it for free, um, obviously I don't think they could ever have the gall to charge for it, but um, you can play like, there's quite a few levels on offer and some fights with Metal Sonic and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, this is definitely my recommendation of the week. Uh, you can get it on Ichio and play it, and it's yeah, it, it feels pretty legit. It feels very much like one of those era Sonic games, which to be honest, not my favourite era. Uh, they always, I always felt like the that Sonic CD kind of had a almost like a cheap ROM hack feel themselves. They never felt like an official Sonic game to me. There was just something off about them. Uh, but as far as reproducing um, that era of Sonic games goes, then STT has you sorted out. So that's going to get nine erotic fan fictions between Sonic and a human princess out of ten. And the final hors d'oeuvre we have on the uh, plate of hors d'oeuvres is Sonic vs. Master Ring. Now, I mean, the footage really speaks for itself, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, you just use the WASD keys to move Sonic about and collect the bird in the middle of the rotating ring while that god-awful tune plays. Every time you pick it up, you're taken to a screen where you run left and right to pick up rings, and the process continues and continues and continues and continues. Um, yeah, it's, it is what it is, and what it is ain't very good. 
So, yeah. Again, like I really don't know what else to say other than just look at the bastard. So that one's gonna get Sonic's floppy hedgehog dick out of 10. 10 dicks. Hedgehog dick. And that'll do us for this instalment. Like I said, not very much going for this one. Um, there, there really wasn't a lot on offer that, that was was doable, but we did our best. We mucked through it. We muddled through, didn't we? And then this is an episode. And so be happy with that. I guess. If, if you want. I mean, you don't have to be happy with it at all, if we're honest. Sonic wasn't a great choice. If I'm being honest. It was a great choice. Till next time, uh, get itchy and stay tasty or whatever it is I say, I don't know.